Cooking up a plan to put the team on. It's a marathon to put the team on. But it kinda sounded like a theme song. What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Director True Vision. We're here with another video. And y'all know what we're about to talk about. This bad boy right here, Black Magic Pocket 6K, amazing camera. And pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to talk about, is this camera still worth it? Um, what's it like? What type of camera is it? And what to expect if you're thinking about purchasing this camera? All right? So, yeah. All right, so we're going to dive straight into it. Um, if you don't know me, my name is True Vision. I film music videos, uh, weddings. I do pretty much anything when it comes to like having a camera. Um, my ca picking up camera just really led me to you know my entrepreneurial journey. So I have multiple businesses and I uh, just do so much more than just have a camera. But my love for like music and videos that's like my passion and that's where I really started. Um, I have over eleven years of experience doing this, and you know it's really just been it's been a great journey. Um, today we're about to talk about uh, this Black Magic 6K. Um, like I said, I've been shooting and filming for over 11 years, and I've had multiple cameras. And this right here, um, I must say, this is definitely the best camera that I've ever purchased in the in my whole journey. Um, just because of the simplicity of it, you know, um, the quality. Um, everything all around, everything that I provide is just like high-end camera for uh, a great price. And if we're thinking about picking up this camera, I highly, highly suggest you pick up this camera. Um, but definitely do your research beforehand because this is more of a uh, a cinema camera. See, me and I'm sure majority of you guys that's watching this video, we're like the running gun type of guys, you know, where pick up the camera, turn it on, and want the quality to be great and uh though that's the case with this the quality is amazing just out the camera um you do need extra attachments so that is an important thing to realize when if you're thinking about purchasing this camera definitely um be aware of all the uh, all of the attachments that you're going to you know need to purchase to you know perform the necessary shots that you want to get uh, some of the stuff that you're going to want to pick up um, is on not even excluding the lens, um, the battery, extra and, and a separate battery, because um, I haven't ran the uh, one of the batteries. But doing all of my research, I've learned that the battery life on this is not that great. I've like through my research, I've noticed I've read and seen that it lasts about. 30 to 40 minutes on, you know, on, on, on a single shoot. So that's not good for me. I don't know about you guys, but that's not good for me. So what I went and grabbed was a uh, D-mount battery. And basically, I just attached this on to the bottom. And this goes into the uh, the actual battery slot. So I just take this, the battery that comes with it, I just take that out, put that to the side. And I attach this D-mount battery onto the bottom. And just close that in right there. And this V mount goes for about, uh, I think it goes for three hours. So that is very important. So if you're going to, you know, if you're thinking about picking up uh, one of these cameras, be aware of the, the battery life. It's not great. Although this is an amazing camera, you know, there's good and bad with everything. And that's definitely one of the things you need to be aware of is the, uh, the battery life. Not good at all. Um, secondly, I would suggest you purchase a, uh, a external monitor. Um, here's the external monitor. So I just attached the external monitor onto the camera. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what y'all really need to, to make, to attach everything. Um, but because this, the screen is a great screen. It's huge, you know, nice size, but it doesn't really, you know, you're getting those angles you can't really see, especially if you're throwing this on a stabilizer or something like that. You're not really going to be able to get, you know, see the shots. So you definitely want to have a uh, monitor in your arsenal. You know, uh, this is the uh, the Phil Wall monitor. It's a 4K monitor, great monitor. And um, this V-mount battery was from Edge. 
it's the edge uh v mount battery power base you know so just type in v mount battery you'll be able to find that all right the next thing that you're going to want to look up if you're thinking about purchasing this black magic 6k pocket camera you're going to want to get a cage as you can see this cage that's going around the uh camera this right here this is called a small cage it's a actual full cage they have a full cage and a half cage so the full cage it's a full cage it covers the full camera as you can see this metal parts coming around that's the full cage and they also provide a half cage which you know it's <laughs> explanatory it's half of this uh half of this and it doesn't have all of these quarter uh, 20 threads and these are vital these quarter 20 threads are how you're going to attach everything onto you know to the camera so you want to look up this is a the brand that I use is a small rig that's the system all the everything that I use as far as the cage and everything small rig and it's the small rig full cage and uh, you're definitely going to want to get that and that's how I'm able to attach the monitor that's how I'm able to attach the V-mount uh, battery and, you know, pretty much everything that comes into, you know, that you're going to need. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to use, um, not use, that you're going to want to purchase if you're thinking about getting this Blackmagic camera, uh, it's the 6K. They have the 4K, it's the 6K. And uh, I believe they just came out with the Pro as well. So, and I believe with the Pro, you can, it has the adjustable screen. And that's the only difference. But even with the adjustable screen, I feel like I still want an external monitor. Looks more professional. And when, you know, your clients are looking at it, they, when you're seeing that extra monitor, it just gives a little bit more, you know, on point, on set. But um, next thing you're going to need is a uh, some type of memory, some type of storage. I use SSD drives. And if you don't know what an SSD drive is, I'll show like a... I'll just grab it real quick. So this is a SSD drive. This is what I use for my memory. So it's basically an external memory. It's an external hard drive that you can attach to your camera. And uh, you can film all of your footage will go directly onto this SSD drive. This is the Samsung. This is a T5. This is a, uh, I believe it's like five, two terabytes. And it's an external memory card. You can record your footage directly onto here. And you can even, when you plug it into your computer, you can even edit directly on here. So that's a win. You're, if you use this, you're going to need another attachment. I know, it's a lot of attachments. You're going to need another attachment, which is another piece from Small Rig. And basically, it is the, uh, the SD holder. So all it is, it's... You put this part, you attach the SD holder onto the small rig full cage, attach that on there. You plug that in there, tighten the screws up, and there is a wire that goes from here and it plugs in, in right into there. And that's how you do your memory, that's how you store your footage, because this is a full frame uh, camera 6K. The files are so large, you know, so they're not even able to fit on like your regular memory card. So you're going to need something that's able to, you know, uh, take handle of, like a lot of, uh, a lot of footage because this thing has like a lot of power. Um, but yeah, those are like really some of the main things that you're going to want to, uh, purchase. Um, something else that I picked up, um, another piece from, from small rig. See, I'm in the whole small rig. <laughs> world like once you get in there you just need they offer more and more stuff so i also i put this on to a uh i put it onto the stabilizer but what i'm using right now is the Fiutech ak4500 and i got the uh dual handlebars and that's what i'm going to be putting that on but if you don't have a um stabilizer you can purchase this uh handle and basically it just gives you it's a handle that you just attach on here with the quarter 20 thread and just a little uh little screws and you screw it in there it's basically just like a handle gives you more support gives you uh you know makes it look more official as well you know definitely because 
this camera could get heavy with all of the attachments on it. Once you put the V mount battery on there, and once you put the memory, the uh, SSD on there, and your uh, and you put your uh, monitor on there, and then if you put like your uh, follow focus, and then if you like, if once I've seen these cameras like built up to like look like machines, so you could really build it up to look almost like I call them transformers. You know, you could really build it up to look pretty amazing. So be aware if you're going to purchase this camera, you're not just going to start shooting right out the box. You're going to need to purchase a lot of, you know, a lot of extra attachment to go with it. But once you do, man, like once you really do, it's like it takes your, your quality to the next level easily straight out the door. It comes with uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is the best color grading uh, software hands down ever ever created is so like in depth and it's easy to work with like you know what I mean so but you get a free membership with DaVinci Resolve when you purchase this camera so that's a plus as well so what I like to do I like to color grade my footage in uh, DaVinci Resolve then I export it and I edit the music video in Final Cut that's my that's my process I know um, I'm sure people edit their music videos in the full video in DaVinci Resolve, but me, I just still like the workflow of Final Cut, and I'm just like really fast with editing in Final Cut, so that's what I continue editing. But when it comes to color grading the footage, I definitely color grade in uh, DaVinci Resolve, and like I said, that comes free when you purchase this camera. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything. Uh, of course, you're going to need your lens. Um, and I'm using, I think main lens is, I think it's the 18 to 35 I'm using right now. Yeah, the 18 to 35 Sigma goat, goat lens. If you know about the Sigma lens, uh, the crazy. If you know about this 18 to 35, amazing lens. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you're really going to need out the gate. Of course, you're going to need lighting and everything. But out the gate, when you purchase this camera, um, that's what you're going to need. So look for be be mindful when purchasing this camera you're not just going to purchase it and start shooting you're going to need to purchase numerous uh, other attachments build it up be patient so if you have another camera and you're thinking about getting this camera keep shooting with your old camera and just continue to purchase and, and build it up that's what i did like i had this camera just sitting there for a while um although i did purchase a lot of attachments with it i just still was building it up and just getting comfortable with it and you know, when I felt comfortable, that's when I pulled it out because this is a beast right here. This is a monster and it's really going to like, it'll really change the game. So if you're thinking about purchasing it, this is a lifetime camera right here. I think the quality is amazing. The YouTube and everything is still catching up with the quality that this camera puts out. I don't even think YouTube is doing six. I know YouTube is not doing 6K yet. And clearly this camera right here, I don't know if you can see what the focus is in, but this is definitely the 6K the black magic crazy camera definitely worth the investment and y'all should pick it up before the price goes up on it. I don't know what they're doing. I know technology goes fast, but pick this up. This is like the closest thing that you're going to get to a red. If you're not if red, if a red camera is not in your budget, me, honestly, I don't think I really even need a red. Like I might get it just for fun, but at this point, this camera is really does the job. Like, I would get it. I would get a red just to say, "Hey, I got one." Just to say I had it. But this camera, if you get this, you know it. If you're already part of the Black Magic 6K uh, community, but if you even got the 4K, if you're part of the community, you know how powerful this camera is. So I'm not gonna talk your head off. I'm pretty sure y'all got the understanding and y'all got the gist of you know what you're gonna need and uh, what's what to look forward to. Um, also gonna leave links below to everything that you can purchase. So you already know if you got kind of lost. Of course, y'all can read, watch the video. But if you got this camera, tell me if you like it. Um, if you're thinking about getting this camera, leave some comments below. Uh, interact. Let me know what y'all thinking about this camera. Um, but definitely, if you got it, send some links to your projects that you worked on so I can see like the stuff that y'all shot with it because the quality it really it really changed changed the whole trajectory of my of my business. Um, so yeah, man, if you're looking to think about getting it, definitely get it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just wrap this video up. Um, if if you're interested in learning how to uh, start shooting like a pro 
We have the mentorship uh, program going on, the one-on-one -on -one mentorship program. So you guys can just hit the link below. And, you know, the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, it, it, it treats you, it gets, gets you right, start shooting like a pro. It doesn't matter if you're a music video director, if you're just a regular vlogger, if your kids do YouTube, if you have a business. Every entrepreneur, the way that entrepreneurship is going right now, you need visuals, you need to capture visuals, and that's what my mentorship program does. I teach you how to start shooting like a pro. I have the mentorship, the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I also have the course uh, that's released, um, the, and the course is amazing. Teach you every single thing you need to know about shooting like a pro, from what cameras to get, from what lights to get, how to set your camera up, how to talk to the camera, how to start editing your video, how to put your video out, how to export it at the highest quality, Every single thing I go step by step, um, pretty much just breaking it down the way that we understand, the way that we talking, and it's an amazing course. Um, and I also have I also do the uh, one on one FaceTime uh, calls. So if you just want a real quick a one hour accelerated mentorship program, if you just want me to talk to you for an hour about business, about how to structure your business, anything along those lines, uh, I do those too. And uh, all you gotta do is just hit the link below. I got the, like I said, the one-on-one -on -one FaceTime calls, the the, men, the mentorship, uh, the four-week mentorship program, and also the course that you can purchase online if um, you're not able to, you know, see me in person. But it's all down low. Down, uh, the links are all down low. Um, my website, TrueVisionMultimedia.com. And I appreciate y'all, man. I'm just here to, you know, spread the knowledge and move forward and build the community. It's not all about just... Um, filming it's about building a business about building a legacy it's, it's bigger than just having a camera once you like learn a skill set you can really elevate your life and take this to a whole new level and i promise you and that's what i'm here to do and uh yeah just continue to share these videos like them do all that good stuff man appreciate y'all we out